So, the title of this video, $300,000 in student loans. I've been thinking about making this video for a really long time. You just see an awesome dream life that appears like I have no problems or worries in the world. But really, I've had a really big problem for the last several years, and it's having hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loan debt with really high interest rates. The reason I made this video, though, is for anyone that feels stuck, lost, or unsure of where to go next in life. Because I've been there, and everything here was not always sunshine, adventures, and bubbles. <laughs> Success may come easier to some than others, depending on where you come from in life, but if you want something bad enough and you throw aside the fact that life isn't fair and you stop comparing yourself to others, only then can you get somewhere. Whether you've been here from the beginning or you just stumbled across my page, I want to thank you for your support, kind words, and encouragement, and most of all, coming on these adventures with me. I'm just a girl trying to make you laugh, smile, and bring some joy to your day and inspire you to not let life pass you by while you're making grand plans for it. I love you and I wish you the best in life. We've had some amazing adventures together, but there's still more to come. Let's rewind and look at where we've gone. It's easy to fall victim to watching highlights and reels on social media because they're everywhere. Never seeing how anyone reached any level of success. You only see the end result, the dream, the perfect outcome, the final shebang. But you don't often see any of the work that went into getting there because it's not fun, glamorous, or entertaining to watch. At 18, I went to college on loans. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in loans. And I was wide-eyed and ready to conquer the world. But I had no idea what I signed up for. I had no idea what interest was and how it could ruin my life. While I take full responsibility for the loans, I do think that the education system fails us in the sense that our teachers and role models push us towards a prestigious path with no education or preparation for financial success. I think we need a little less Macbeth and more mandatory finance. Otherwise, you're coming out of high school as a legal adult and signing a loan document that you don't fully understand the financial repercussions of. But don't worry, at least you'll be able to sew a pillowcase and cite some Shakespeare. I personally believe to graduate from high school that you should have to take a year-long class that teaches you about finance, credit, interest, debt, investing, and business. And if you don't pass the class, I don't think you should be able to sign for a student loan. Otherwise, colleges are just taking advantage of young, naive adults that are basically still children. Life is, after all, about making mistakes, but they don't have to define you forever. I went into a field that I didn't fully understand or comprehend. My peers and teachers encouraged medicine, and I didn't want to let them down. I liked the sciences. I excelled in them, and I wanted to help others. I've always been an incredibly hard worker top of my high school class and my pharmacy class, which I'd later come to find out that that really means absolutely nothing in the real world. But I'm someone that refuses to fail, and I wouldn't consider myself very smart, I'd just work really hard. Flash forward several years, and I came out of pharmacy school to a field that wasn't at all what I anticipated with over 300 grand in debt. One of the worst things you can experience in life is feeling crushed, and there were so many days I felt crushed, being screamed at and threatened. On the rare occasion I got a lunch break, I would just cry and feel hopeless in my car, only to return with a smile. But really I was just broken inside. When the pharmacy you work at gets robbed at gunpoint, boy, does that make you excited for your morning commute to work? I was incredibly unhappy, not fulfilled, not inspired. I wasn't helping anyone. 
much of this was my own fault and now I fully accept that. It just took a while to face, but I should have spent more time educating myself about finance. I was just young and naive, as stupid as it sounds. But without getting into the details, because I'm sure you really don't care, I decided to start my own thing. I worked countless hours, 70 to 80 hour work weeks, developing and researching my own products with a mentor all while also working as a pharmacist. I was following a dream, but I couldn't finance anything because I had so much debt in my name. So I had to start from the ground up. The first place I lived right out of college was in a really old dilapidated warehouse. It wasn't quite abandoned, but it was pretty bad. The area wasn't permitted for living, but it was cheap and all I could afford and still pay my loans. And in the other side of the building, I was able to rent a small warehouse space to work and grow what I believed in. There was no magic switch, believe it or not, that flipped and just spit me out here. It took a really long time, and this isn't like a lot of my content. It's just something I've always wanted to address because I've finally come to terms with my choices and... I'm finally at peace with them. I made them and it was up to me to change them. What I want to get across is that when you make a choice in life, it doesn't have to be something that defines you forever. There were so many days that the debt was all I could think about. I still have a large chunk to conquer. It's the interest that really gets you, but I've made so much progress and I continue to work on my research for longevity and weight loss. And my goal is to sell enough of my mushroom coffee to pay off the rest of my loans and then I will finally be able to get financing to start a farm and grow better foods for you. So don't be surprised if you see me one day slanging mushrooms and cucumbers at your local farmer's market. I have you to thank for inspiring me and pushing me and hopefully I too can inspire you to work hard, take a leap of faith, or attempt conquering a dream that you've always had. While I would never wish this amount of debt on anyone, I don't think I would have ended up living or traveling in a truck camper to help pay off my loans if I hadn't made some of the choices that I did. And honestly, I don't know if I would have ever had a niche for exploring an adventure if I hadn't been so incredibly unhappy. Maybe I'd have a white picket fence in the suburbs. It's hard to say, but honestly, I'm pretty sure that'll never be part of my future now, and I'm really glad this is where I've ended up. These days, we're all navigating through life, one day at a time, and we're all just humans, and when we wake up or go to sleep sometimes, it's nice to watch or listen to something that gives us inspiration and even just a mental break. And I'm honored that you choose to take time out of your day to watch my videos, and I hope I can continue to bring some beauty, nature, or just a smile to your face. Along that note, if this is something you want to hear more about, I'm going to keep this channel for my adventures only, but... If you're interested in learning more, I think I'm going to do a coffee time with Hannah where I want to talk more about finances, business, and possible ways to live and travel while still potentially generating an income because there's a lot of people in my position too. And the channel link below will be there if you're interested and if you want to try my mushroom coffee, there's a link down there as well. It can be scary to share your life with the world, but I want to send you some encouragement. This is a reality that used to greatly embarrass me and still sometimes does. I've grown to a point where now I just want to help push anyone who needs it towards a goal they feel hopeless at reaching. I thank you so much for watching this and I truly hope that it touches a heart chord if you're feeling you need something like this. I hope you're ready because next video is another action-packed adventure. I have a surprise for you. Goodbye.